Thanks for being with us this afternoon. The highly a 13 year old who confessed to killing his mother appeared in court for the first time today since the tragedy. Derek Rose's case has been heard several times, but he was never present for them. And NBC6 reporter Christian Colon has been following this case for us, and he's joining us now with what happened in court. Hi, Christian. I'll take my time. Hi there. Yeah, for the first time, Derek Rosa was in the courtroom. He, he was very calm throughout the hearing. However, on the other hand, his family members were very emotional. They have been showing up to hearings since this all happened a few weeks ago. Take a look for yourself. This was Derek Rosa sitting in a brown jumpsuit as he faces first degree murder charges for allegedly killing his mother, Irina Garcia. Today's hearing was all about two motions. The first, an emergency motion where defense attorneys want to inspect the crime scene for themselves. We learned they want to measure the apartment where the murder happened. The team's stepfather, the victim's partner, was strongly against this idea, letting attorneys in because he claimed family members were already inside to clean the place down. However, the judge granted the inspection this Thursday and will only allow three people inside. State attorneys and police are not allowed. The order will allow a three-hour block this Thursday afternoon. There will be police presence outside the front door. They will not be entering while you're inspecting the apartment. The persons allowed within the apartment will be one attorney, one forensic examiner, one photographer. That's it. Metro West is housing juveniles as of the 20, about the 26th of October, which happens to be the day that Derek was transferred. We do not believe they're equipped right now to, to do that for him, and we think that they are doing him a disservice. That second person you heard right there is defense attorney, Rosa's attorney. She was speaking about the second request that they're asking after the first one was done today. They want uh, Rosa moved from the adult facility back to the juvenile facility where he was initially when he was charged only as a juvenile. A hearing, however, has to happen before the judge makes a ruling that was scheduled for this Friday. We're in Miami. Christian Colon, NBC6 News.